Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel, where today I'll be showing you the the casino heist, like money glitch, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, we, uh, you, so you basically just do the heist, so what you want to do is you just want to set up everything, like whatever you have, set it all up. Yeah, the big con's the easiest one, so... You just want to uh, copy what I have here, high level, and you just want to copy all this. Then you want to give, since it's a money glitch, you want to have a friend. And then what you want to do is you want to take your money and put it all down to the lowest setting, which is 15. Then you want to go to your friends and then give them the rest of the cut. Alright, then they ready up. Okay, then you start the game. Uh oh, okay. Boom, boom. Alright. And it doesn't matter which clothes you have or what, whatever. Doesn't matter. You can do whatever. Then you just want to ready up. Whoever drives the van does not uh, matter. I'll be driving the van. So yeah, just tell your friend, just do all the setups for the heist, get all that done. You want to get all the, like, the additional things that you can get, like the exit, disi exit disguise, stuff like that. So you could just make it easiest, easiest, easiest for you at least. Okay, then what you want to do is since you you want to do the big con approach then you want to go to group sex approach and then you want to how do you do that you um and the prep mission for the heist selection you want to go down to where i'm going right now you want to go down in the tunnel next to the casino not in the sewer but in the tunnel like area to go down to the uh, horse track and then you just want to take a picture of that so normally you would drive down there, but we're doing this the fastest way, fastest way possible. So there's a little glitch that you can do. What you want to do is make a left up here, then make a right past these gang members, then just drive straight into here, and then it will activate as you going into the. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah. This is where you want to go to take the picture. Then once you're in here, once you load in, you just drive through, tell, uh, do what Lester tells you. Don't mess around because you can, like, fail this super duper easily. So yeah. Okay, once you load in, start driving. Uh, yep, just drive through here. Try not to crash so you can get the fastest time possible. Wait for that to open, break, boom. Then this guy will talk to you, he'll let you in. That's perfect. Then, blah blah blah, he talks, he talks, he talks, he talks, it's way too much talking. Then you just want to drive into here, park it up. <clears throat> you could drive through the columns, it doesn't matter. The fastest way is the elevator, so that's what we're going to be doing. So you just want to walk over, swipe the key card. Go through here, once your friend's in, then click use the elevator, because if you don't, it'll glitch it out, and your friend will be stuck on the bottom. So walk through, go in first person to go the fastest. Walk through these doors, the cops won't mind you or like the security won't mind you because you're obviously the group sex, well, quote unquote group sex. So you wanna go up here, then you want your friend to do it and then what you wanna do is you wanna time it up with your friends. So I suggest you saying, 
uh, you say like one, two, three, and then on go or now, then you both swipe it at the same time. Because if you don't swipe it at the same time, then it just won't work. So yeah, and here you want to just jump. It gets you the fastest way possible. Want to walk through this hall, go up to the bank thing. Well, where the where the vault is. So then you'll get this little cutscene, him letting you in. He'll open it. He'll open it. And then... And you say, WW! Bop! Bop him in the face. So then your friend, one of you has to be the hacker. One of your, uh... Then you won't. You basically want one of your friends to hack and one of you to... Okay, this one's good. So you want one to hack and one to, like... Grab all the money. Or, in this case, paintings, because if you don't have gold, paintings is the best. And I believe they fix the gold duplicate, so paintings is the best for our situation. And usually you want two people, not more than two, because then the one person won't get the most amount of money, and then it won't be like the fastest. So, what you want to do? Boom, hack that. Then you want to tell him. So E, uh, so E and F are open on these halls. So he'll get F. Then he'll go back to the middle and to the left to get C. And I'm gonna open B and A. So I'm gonna hack this open. Usually you'll have up the time, but I have my hood off, so I don't see the time. So it's kind of a bad thing. You kind of want to see the time in this. Hack this open. So yeah, if you look up on YouTube, like how to do the fingerprints, they're really easy. They're just they just look hard. So yeah. So tell your friend, uh, Zach, go to the middle and go to the left to see, because you forgot C. How much time do we have left? Minute 10, okay. Boom, hack this open. Tell your friend to get C, which he's doing right now. Then, once he gets C, just... Zach, can you come get B while I get A? Alright. This is how you cut them. You just cut the paintings like that. Boom. 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 Like that. So yeah, when you're walking ar walking around in the vault, just spam uh, X instead of walking because it's faster. So is that how much time do we have left? All right, get out of here fast. Thirty seconds. All right, you want to hurry this up because you don't want to get out. You don't want to get caught. Twenty seconds left. Don't dawdle. <laughs> so yeah. Ten seconds, we are good. Alright, so now I want to do the same thing with the key card. So your friend will say Yep. Boom. It doesn't have to be perfectly synced, but you wanna get it to Oh pretty okay, so Yep. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> My voice is cracking, I don't know why. But alright. Uh, go through the man trap. I don't know why this is called the man trap. So, since you made it out perfectly, if you make it out perfectly, you shouldn't have any problems with the police. Sometimes this door isn't open for one of you, but it's fine. It'll open eventually, so you want, what you want to do, you want to work your way up, walk past these people, then you want your friend to open that door. You don't want to use the elevator because, uh, yeah, it takes too long and plus they'll be up there waiting for you.
All right, so once you do that, walk up. You wanna walk up here. So this area, you have to be sneaky with it. Since there's security cams. Um, this guy will walk over. You usually just wanna hit him across the head. So I will do that. Since you don't have, like, You just want to walk through. That guy stands there. So... He might be bugged out, actually. I don't know why he's not walking. He's just standing there. What do we do? No, he'll definitely see us. Can we go through here? Alright, well... This is not supposed to happen. Here, let's go down. Let's go down and up again. So, this will happen. Wait, this never happened to us. This is the first time it's happening, so. You probably just want to go down here, then walk back up so the game reloads. Hopefully it'll reload at least. So yeah, so that's by this time you'll be caught. But okay, walk through here and it's still glitched. He's still glitched. So if we kill him, his body will be seen. Zach, move. Where's this guy? Maybe we can go through here. Oh, that guy is sitting there. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to do. Yeah, screw it. Yep, I'm, I thought he was- I thought I could hit him, but he was on the other side of the table. Ah, my god. I don't want to redo this, but... Okay, so what you want to do, you want to go to the exit door, or the staff door. What you picked is the staff door, because the staff door is better. So, boom, run through. Usually you'll go get the disguises, but it just glitched out for us, so we can't do it. So, this is not going to be the most perfect round, so you won't get the, um, bonus, but that's fine. So, yeah. Usually you'll get the bonus, but the game glitched out for us. There's nothing really, nothing much we can do about that, so. You'll get this cutscene. Since we are robbing the diamond casino. <gasps> so in this situation, you want your friend to run with you. Yeah, if you get caught and like they see you, you just want to run this way. You want to clear out these three cops that are here. Uh, there's a cop right there. Your friend will get him and then I'll get these two people. Get these two people, kill that one, get this one, boom, then you want to run across the highway, then you want to get up to the street right here, because no cars really spawn on the highway. I don't know why, but they just don't, so you want to run up here, and then cars should spawn, yep, you want to get, I'm going to get this oracle. Then you want to get the oracle, pick up your friend, I don't know what he's doing, anyways. So usually you want to get your car, sneak around here, like if you don't get caught, but if you do get caught, you get your car, go over here, look on top of the building, yep, there's the helicopter, so you want to park up here, drive here, park. Run, jump, jump, and be careful because up here it gets a little bit sketchy, so. 
boom, get up here, boom. Then you want to run across, run on this wall, jump on the vents, run, 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 boom, get in the helicopter, then get the helicopter ready, let your friend get in. Then you want to go to the location drop-off spot. So look on your map, see where it is. Alright, it's in the wood area, so you want to just fly over there quickly. And tell your friend to not shoot because you want to- you'll- you'll lose the cops. Um, but yeah, just don't tell them to not shoot. They'll see you eventually, but you'll eventually lose them. And if you're in- if your friend's in a CEO, or your CEO, if you're the one who started it up, he's getting the money, so... Uh, around this time, you should get- he should get a, uh, CEO payout, so that's an extra bit of money. Then, just fly... It's not always gonna be at the lumber mill. Maybe it, sometimes it's at the Polito Bay, Polito Bay Beach. Sometimes it's next to the um, Fort San Cudo. Yeah, it just it's just mixed every single time. So yeah. Head over here. So then you want to tell your friend to. So then you want to tell your friend. So once you get over here, you want to. You guys want to switch. Um. So yeah, you guys want to switch the helicopter. So he flies the helicopter because you're gonna have to leave the game. And yeah. All right, so after slight difficult technical difficulties, uh, we're back, and this is Lag Nation. So, the helicopter went down, so we're driving a car now, and he... He's driving backwards for some reason. All right, so you just want to continue to your lumber location spot. And you don't have to, like, get everything perfect. You don't have to get everything perfect, like, or like, every, like, you don't have to get a perfect time or anything like that. You just have to. You can do the heist however you want, even if you. That means going up a hill in a slow car, which you're never gonna make. Alright. So he's not the best driver, but. Clearly, you can see he's not the best driver. So, yeah. Head over here. Oh, and, um... Head over to the Curious Crew channel, because we're gonna be doing some GTA funny moments later, so yeah. Um, I'll have it linked down below, so yeah, you can check it out. <sighs> I love wasting time. Alright, so once your friend gets to the spot eventually, pull up your Xbox menu, click start on GTA, and then go down to quit, but don't quit yet. Wait for... Once he goes into the checkpoint... Once you see on the back of your screen that the men are there, exit the game, and that's basically it, so yeah. <laughs>